Hey, it's Kyle. Welcome to pretty much you say like my first proper video. And so in this video, we thought it'd be pretty cool to talk about some of my favorite uh, first set accessories. So yeah, basically accessories are like they add on towards your character or your first suit, and these are generally pretty cool. Th if they add on for your character to make it look extra stylish or fabulous look to it. Some of these you say are necessity, but some of them are just like, yeah, optional if you want them to look cool and yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so the first accessory will be a character badge. Well, this is the only one I have, and it's my first one, I haven't commissioned a lot of these uh, badges. And yeah, basically badges are like how like you say like they well well by the name, they're badges of your character with his name and the drawing of it. There are different type of badges, there are some that like only like you say headshot, some are full body or some are half body, really depending to you. Oops. Yeah, if you're curious, I commissioned this from an artist on SD. If you're curious, I can leave a link to the description to their store. And yeah, it is a pretty cool thing they can wear to con as well and normally I think people, you know, even in and out of suit can wear them as well. It can't be an easy way to tell, hey, you're this uh, person or hey, you're this character, you know, an easy way to find the person, you know, without, you know, always looking for the first suit, right? Next up will be some bandanas. So this one, the green one I made myself and I made it before I made my head, so it is a little bit small so I can't really wear it. Also I have two of them as well. I have a, another one, a blue, black and white one, which I bought it from uh, from a cancer foundation like years ago. <laughs> yeah, recently just found it, so yeah. I mean, cool color. Surprisingly, it also matches the color of my character, coincidentally, so <laughs> that's a surprise. But the good thing about having a bandana is also that I can clip on badges, for instance. Uh, I have one right here. I have my uh, Anthrocon badge here and have a little clip on it, which, yeah, it's a little like uh, ID card clip that I bought separately and you can clip it on. Which I could, but I can't really see, so yeah. But yeah, overall, it's not a bad accessory for a bandana. I personally kind of consider it like an alternative toward color. I don't know, I'm not much of a color person myself, and the reason why I call it an alternative is because, like, it's a similar thing, you know, similar thing to a collar, you know, it goes on your neck, both having a name as well, so I find them pretty similar, but I know some of people may be a collar person, but I'm more of a bandana person, personally. Okay, next up, I've got another, hey! Hey, nice lining. Anyway, you stay there. Important that three and pretty much almost like a, well, necessity for anybody who the first head like myself, is a fan. This is pretty much something that will keep you cool inside, which, actually, honestly, I wouldn't need it right now, I'm sweating inside this. <laughs> So yeah, this one I bought from SC is a little bit bigger and bulky. This is because there's a rechargeable version, there's a rechargeable port down there, and it also has an adjustable speed as well. I know you can buy a much more cheaper one on Amazon, and the one on Amazon has, is like, I think you do two AA battery, if I'm not mistaken, and also have only an on off switch on the side, so there's no adjustable speed. It really depends up to you on which one you think is worth it, battery or just rechargeable. Obviously, non-battery. Uh, obviously rechargeable more expensive than battery, but yeah, decisions are up to you, but in the end they're both are fan anyway, just some slight differences. Next up will be a personal favorite of mine, and it will be my Cyber Visor. This is probably one of the most coolest, you can say, eyewear accessory out there. There are different types of eyewear you can buy. There's, there's, um, yeah, there's glasses, there's goggles, and stuff like that. You can buy, you know, pretty much put on the eye, as an like, eyewear for your character. And for me, I chose with Cyber Visor, really. It's probably one of the coolest things out there because, you know, it lights up, obviously. There's a little switch on the side here, which... Can I even turn off? No, I can't. Give me a second. I'll take off my, uh, yeah, pole for this, yeah. Yeah, it... Yeah, the switch on both sides, uh... It's on both sides. It's a pretty cool accessory. And to put the thing on, if you're wondering, yeah, there's Velcro on the end. You just pull out and slide under the slot, put your head and you put it back on. Actually, you know what? Let's put it on. Give me a second. Few inches later. And yeah, here and here's what it looks like when I'm wearing it. Actually, a pretty cool accessory. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, yeah, I bought this for around I think uh, fifty or so dollars. And yeah, you can still buy them on SC. That's different, like uh, pattern as well. This one, I think, is like a eye scanner, as you call it. But some different pattern as well, and they come in different colors as well. Uh, there's red, green, obviously there's blue, and I think there's even a rainbow color as well, which is pretty nice as well. But yeah, like I said, there's different accessories as well. There's glasses as well. There's also goggles, depending really uh, what kind of eyewear that you like as well. So yeah, but for me, I want this, a uh, cyber visor, which is not too bad. A little bit of a thing I just want to say out there. If you want to get one of these, just wear them in some place where there's a lot of light, because in a very dark place, it is very hard to see through the visor because it's so bright at nighttime. 
And so yeah, looking up here for this video, I'll be talking about some first accessories, so yeah, I hope you find this video enjoyable or interesting, so yeah, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.